loves, how are you? I hope you're all doing really, really well. My name is Lorena Victoria and welcome to Victoria Moon Tarot. Today's pick a card or pick a deck reason is who is silent but thinks about you. Should we have a look what's going on? What I want you to do is choose between the decks. So we've got Tattoo Tarot, the Mandela Tarot and the Crystal Visions Tarot. So one, two and number three. If you like the image on the back of the deck, you can choose from that as well. It's perfectly fine to uh, be conflicted between decks. So you're very welcome to listen to messages from two decks or three decks, wherever it is you're intuitively drawn. What I ask you to do is pause the video if you need extra time to choose your deck. Um, the timestamps will be in the description bo box beneath this video, along with all the information you need to book any private services with me as well. Okay, should we get on with your reading today? So who is silent but is still thinking about you and maybe what are they thinking and why? Okay, thank you so much. I'll see you at your readings. Welcome to your reading, those of you who chose reading number one. So who is silent but is still thinking about you and what are they thinking? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look here. Okay, we have nine of swords. We have a page of coins have a seven of wands <laughs> the star card so okay you may have a younger male here could even be an earth sign I'm um, going on here they're in some kind of I still think they have the hots for you I still I'm looking at your card I'm looking at that page of pentacles who could be somebody who's very much interested in you um maybe they are slow in coming forwards or they're slow in maybe um or have been slow in responding to you as well. The star card is telling me that they're still thinking about you massively. They still find you attractive. <laughs> and also the star card is telling me that they're hoping for something as well. Something here is telling me they're hoping you haven't got anybody. Yeah. So you can see the rival energy of the seven of wands and the three of wands. And they kind of, you know, if you're looking at star card and then the three of wands, it's like, I hope they haven't gone out there and found anyone else because I still have the hots for them. The nine of swords is telling me that they might not be sleeping at night. There's anxiety and maybe a lot of um, feeling low because they're not around you right now. Their sleep may be disrupted, so you may find that they're online at night or they're, you know, that you can see them online at night because they're not sleeping very well with that card there. They're still interested in you. They're hoping you haven't got anyone else and there's no uh, rival here. So also I can see in your reading that they are, um, it's, it feels like maybe this is a past connection for you. And this person, maybe it didn't work the first time round. So I still think that there's somebody who's very much interested in you. Um, but they are staying in the background for now. I'm sensing maybe they're checking you out or looking at something to um, to make sure there isn't anybody there, you know, that you haven't moved on from them or you haven't moved on somewhere else or anything like that there's your high priestess as an outcome card so yeah they're staying in the background they're being mysterious they're keeping it to themselves they're trusting their judgment and their intuition here as well if you've got high priestess card coming out this person even though they still have the hots for you they are reluctant to come forwards for some reason at this time as i'm reading it doesn't mean there isn't an interest in you page of pentacles often bring news they usually like to talk but being a pentacles energy they just are being secure maybe they're protecting themselves here as well and i think they like to talk but not just yet also i need to say this could be somebody you're in you know that you work with as well or somebody that you've worked with in the past for some of you not all but they're keeping it to themselves for now so they're definitely secretly thinking about you um hmm, it's very interesting for you okay let's get some oracles here 
okay someone's just come. that one has come out and this one has come out with it so let me just read these out for you it says your perfection your beauty amazes me and um, <laughs> the star card is about appearance it's about being beautiful so i said they fancy you your beauty amazes me i'm not sure how i attracted someone <laughs> i attracted in someone like you but i'm forever grateful and then you've got this one you're so smart your intellect really turns me on you're so smart and i really enjoy our conversations okay so you know maybe you're still talking to them and they're keeping their feelings to themselves then for some of you but it feels very much like it feels like a pest connection but um something is definitely stressing them out they might also not feel good enough for you with the page star card mix and you've got two majors there it's like you know i feel like some of you don't know this person is maybe like that with you you know so it feels it feels like they're well they think you're perfection you know what i mean what more can i say okay we've got the card of teamwork be united for a good relationship oh that's really weird because that does smack of employment to me doesn't it the word teamwork but yeah it feels like yeah they want to be on your same wavelength and i'm wondering here whether your person is wondering whether to tell you how you know how they feel or how they still feel i can see here that someone is definitely still interested um they still have the hots for you basically <laughs> Okay, my lovelies, I hope that's okay for you. Thank you so much for this pick a card, for listening to this pick a card today. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like and uh, subscribe, turn on the notification bell if you like what I do. And then YouTube should notify you every time there's a new upload from me. Thank you so very much. I'll be back really soon. Take care. Bye. Hey, my lovelies, welcome back to reading those of you who chose reading number two, which was the Mandela Ride Away. Um, it's just a ride away, <laughs> but it is a ride away deck and I love the image on the back. And the this one's printed and they're quite bright colours, so it shows up really well on the screen for you. So let's have a look. Who is silent? They're still thinking about you. They're not saying anything, you know. Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. I'll get oracle cards for you at the end, so stick around. I feel like already as I'm shuffling, you really want to know. <laughs> Whoa, you've got some devil energy, some obsessional energy going on here. What on earth is this? Okay. Wow. Okay, the six of pentacles wow what a contrast the two of pentacles reversed oh they're spying on you okay there's a lot going on here isn't there there looks like there's been some gossip they're not sure about something the ace of cups is coming out they're quite obsessed then and they might be okay because the devil coming out can be very sexually led like sexually obsessed as well uh they're not sure about something here um they, maybe they're not sure about you what you want right now they're definitely thinking about you if that devil's coming out in fact to the point of obsession so um is there a conflict here between very sexual energy and romantic energy i think your person is aware that maybe you want uh a romance with them i'm wondering whether you've met on these terms on these um like you've met and you've got this sexual chemistry and but nothing romantic has happened yet they're very intrigued by you they don't want you to say no but they're conflicted between what you want and maybe what they've been thinking about <laughs> um the barriers are down though the, the the gate is down as i call it the nine of wands your outcome card it feels like um, they got a lot to say because the the guard is down. So it might be that they're trying to talk to you. They may be considering romance, and I'm wondering whether uh, that's what you wanted, and they know it, and it's kind of like you know they weren't ready at the time. 
I think that maybe they, they know you're waiting for some kind of explanation as well as what I can see. But at the same time, they're kind of hiding from love, I'm sensing. It overwhelms them. They, they're very curious. The gossip could be part of this or the fear of gossip as well. The feeling I'm getting is, okay, for some of you, this could involve other parties and it's kind of very secretive energy with the devil coming out. It's like they're keeping it to themselves. So I don't know whether there's other parties involved for you or your person, but I feel if there is, there's something that you're aware of or you suspect. Or maybe, you know, there's there's definitely a mixture of energy here. It's kind of like... um. They might be leaving things for now, you know, just going going along with the flow. They feel very confused. They feel very overwhelmed and they feel like they're not completely telling you what they want from you. They're aware, I feel, that you're, you have a romantic interest in them. Um, they may also have a romantic interest in you, but something's telling me here there's either a lot of obsessional people or there's some kind of... Um, you know, something going on in their life where, they, you know, the devil energy can be obsessional, secretive, uh, people that are dependent on this person. It's a jealousy. It's, you know, there's a lot going on in the background here. Maybe they're not letting you know this. There's something about them having a lot. I, I can feel like they've got a lot going on and there's something very pure about you. Your energy is pure to them. Um, but what well, I think what's worrying them, and this is why they might be silent, is that there's people that might find out about you <laughs> or find out about how they feel. Maybe they don't want you to know or confess their feelings to you right now. Um, the guard will go down. I feel like they've got things to say. So I'm wondering whether they need to talk to you like on an, excuse me for my arm, I've just knocked the deck over. They need to talk to you on an honest level. They, I think they're scared or hiding from love right now. Uh, for various reasons, whatever's going on with your person. I feel like they're keeping something from you. They might be frightened to say it to you. Um, this could be third parties. This could be that they've got dependents. They might even be not not matching your energy, you know. The feeling I'm getting is um, you're much... For them, they feel like you're sweeter and calmer and your energy is much purer than what's going on in their background, I can tell you that now. Okay. Okay. We've got let the past go. Can we rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down by life? Our past hold us back from our future. Ah, I knew it get another one I miss you I wish things were different I knew there was something here where they were considering romance but something is like the whole it's holding them back it could be just their life in general there's something about their energy that's much darker than yours and I I don't mean them being mean or cruel they're being very you know very dark, you know, very, they're not doing it on purpose, I'm sensing intuitively, it feels like they can't do anything about the situation, um, they're not making you any promises, I'm sensing as well, on a romantic stake, but your energy is very sweet, I feel, get one more oracle, you know, they're very, um, I have pulled out the card of gratitude, a thank you goes a long way, it could be that they've been, you know, really grateful that they've met you. You may have pulled them out of a very dark place or showing them some light at the end of the tunnel. There's something very sweet about you where they, um, just the energy that I'm feeling looking down at your cards as well. It's like they're worried about other people talking and they may be worried that you're going to find out stuff about them. There's something, I, I feel like they're not coming from a, ma a nasty place. It's like my life is a mess. How can I tell you this, you know? That that's just the feeling I'm getting as well. All right, my lovelies, thank you so much. I hope that's helped um, today. Thank you for listening to me. Um, I'll be back really soon with another video. And if you like this video, please subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, turn on the notification bell. Give the video a thumbs up and drop up that all-important comment. It's lovely to hear from you. Thank you so much, my loves. I'll be back really soon. Take care. Bye. 
Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to your reading. Those of you chose reading number three, you've chosen the Crystal Visions Tarot deck. So let's have a look who is silent but is thinking of you. So they're silent but they're thinking of you right now. Let's have a look who it is. See what comes out. No idea. So let's have a look. Ah, the King of Cups. Could this person be a water sign here as well? Two of Cups is reversed. So we've got X energy going on if you have a two of cups in reverse. You may have broken up with this person. Uh, the Q could be in separation. You may have had an argument with this person as well. This person may be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, or very watery, you know, moon, Venus, rising. So a lot of planets that are watery. There's three of pentacles here as well. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Um, the feeling I'm getting is like they want to reach out to you because they have a lot of respect and admiration to you. If I was looking at this card, this person, you may have broken up with this person or you're not in a romantic relationship before anymore. Okay. But the two swords is telling me they don't know what to do about this. I feel like they need to be around you, even if it's in the disguise of friendship. With the Three of Pentacles. Let's just get your outcome card. This person is thinking... Um, I don't know whether you've been through a lot together. You might... It could be X vibe, But it's like, can we still be friends? I know that might... Some of you are not like that. But it might be that they have feelings for you. And they're empathetic. They still are caring about you. And they want to be around you. But maybe they're not interested in this right now. You know, if you've got Two of Cups, this could be... You know, romantic interest. Now, let me pull out some clarification cards here to see what it is. Uh, they want to reunite. Now, this is interesting. Whether they just have to... The feeling I'm getting is they have to be around you in some way. Um, and that's not in a bad way. They may still want to be in your energy. Maybe you've got mutual friends. You, they want to be around you. They want to spend time with you. They are admiring you here. And the way you conduct your life. So, okay, so I'm seeing X energy. But um, this could be someone that maybe you used to be with a long time ago. And they're trying to come back in. It's like they're admiring your life. The way you live your life. What you've done in your life. You, you know, there's somebody here who... You may even be a male friend, I have to say. Who still cares about you here. Or a childhood um, love or somebody you used to go out with in your teenage years or in your younger years. It feels like they want to talk, you know. That It's like they're reminiscing, they're thinking about you. Um, some of you, okay, some of you are going to go a bit stronger than that. If you've got a Six of Cups and a King of Pentacles, sorry, King of Cups, this person, you know, you may have had children with this person and they want to be your friend now, you know. They don't want any more arguments, disinterest. They're wondering if this could happen, not all of you have got children with these people, of course, but the Six of Cups can indicate ch children involved. Um, they care about you, you know. I'm going to be honest, I'm not seeing like they're in love with you, a pull oracle cards, but they care about you a lot. They want to talk, they want to collaborate. Um, yeah, it feels very sweet energy. That The feeling I'm getting is they're not sure whether you're interested in doing that with them. That Two of Swords energy there is telling me they're not sure whether they should say something to you that they still care about you that you know they're taking it very slowly the blindfold is telling me they're not sure they haven't got the information yet so maybe um somebody's trying to come back into your life rather than you know in a nostalgic way it's like we shared a lot you know that's the energy I guess like we shared a lot and you know a lot with a lot went on they're very proud of the way you've you lived your life and turned your life around and um yeah it looks like to me that they want to be in your energy whatever even even if it's not a romantic way it's just i want to be by this person i'm an admi admiration of them okay let's get some oracle cards see what else is coming out so don't go anywhere not yet okay is it true I heard you were dating someone. Is it true? Please tell me it isn't. Okay. Hello. No wonder they want to come back. So I'm wondering here whether they think you've got your life sorted and you're moving on without them. 
Okay, this has come out as well. I'm so sorry, that's my neighbour's dogs. They would have to come. They couldn't wait five minutes, could they? <laughs> Playing games. This is a game to me. The way I am acting, responding or posting is to get your attention. <laughs> is that what they're doing? Oh my gosh. Wow, let's get one more oracle card. They're playing games. So they're getting, trying to get your attention. Have they been posting certain like cryptic messages and things like that? Wow. Okay, resolutions. Strive for harmonious resolutions. Person wants peace. It doesn't matter which way, shape or form this person wants peace. I know they want to be around you. Like what they're like, it's like they're missing. They feel like they might be missing out on something with you right now. It looks like to to them, you've got something going on that they haven't. You know, it's, you, you're getting your life sorted, you know, with the nine of pentacles. And maybe it's friendships and maybe they want to be hanging around you. And could be a male energy or somebody that still cares about you a lot. Okay, my lovelies, that's very interesting. Let me know in the comment section if this is resonating with you. Please subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Um, then YouTube should notify you every time there's a new upload from me so you don't have to look for me. <laughs> um, thank you so much, my loves. Take care till next time. Bye-bye.